getting exciting. We're really close to Christmas, aren't we? Open the bag that says craft for December 20th. You should have saved it in a safe place and you can open that up and get it out and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. So all the supplies, I have gumdrops here. I've got them on and I have a little board I'm working on and you can do a plate, whatever you want. I have graham crackers, three whole graham crackers. Oh, animal cookies. I've got some candy canes. And what we want to do is go ahead and open everything so it's ready for you. So I'm going to cut off the tip of the candy cane, open it, and lay it carefully aside. So do all those. And you have some fruit by the foot. That's what this little baggie is, fruit by the foot. Okay, if you open it up, you'll see it's got that red, sticky, gummy fruit by the foot. You know what that is. At any rate, get everything open and then join me again. Okay, so I have everything I need and I've laid it all out. Now, the one thing that's not provided for you is either frosting or peanut butter, something sticky, foodish. So I got some peanut butter and I am ready. So I'm going to take one of the graham crackers and I'm going to spread some on an edge here. Peanut butter, okay? Just get it on there. Doesn't have to be real pretty. All right, and I'm going to put a graham cracker there. I'm going to just set it there as a teepee right now. I'm going to take one of these guys, a whole one, and I'm going to break it in half carefully. Okay, and then I'm going to spread some on two sides of this. So I got that and that. And that is going to be the sides of my, whoops, got on this side, the sides of my stable. What we're doing is making a ground cracker nativity set. Okay. All right. And I'm going to do the second one here. Okay. Oops. That's standing up. All right. All right, now if you'll excuse me a minute, I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, now I'm going to start making my people. And the way you can make them is by putting a gumdrop on a toothpick. So slide it on there all the way. Uh, I'll do two red, I think, just for fun. And then I'll do an orange. And my toothpick is too long, as you can see. Oop. So I'm going to go ahead and Break that off. There's one of my people. Oh, I don't know, maybe a shepherd. Okay, so there's one. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna make a bunch more people and we'll go on from there, all right? So, make two shepherds at least. Okay, so I've made some shepherds by stacking three gumdrops on a toothpick and then I just broke off the little pieces off the top that were too long, so you just discard those. So I have my two shepherds. I want at least one of them to have a shawl. So I'm going to take some of this uh, fruit by the foot. I'm just going to cut off a little piece. It doesn't have to be very long. And I think I'll just wrap it around his shoulders and kind of pinch it in the front so it maybe stays. There we go. So he's got a little cape. All right, one of them. And you can do that with whoever you want. I've got two shepherds. You have enough to do two shepherds and enough to do... Mary and Joseph, and an angel. I did mine all white. You don't have to. In order to make them stand, you just kind of squish that bottom. And of course, use frosting or peanut butter too to make them stand up. And then I have my three wise men. So I'm going to work on getting those done. And I'll join you back in a minute. So there's one of my shepherd. I just took that fruit by the foot, cut a little piece of it, wrapped it. I did it to Mary. Joseph, I had enough to do one shepherd, and I think three wise men, but I wanted to be sure and save a little piece to be able to wrap Jesus. But you can see here I put the shepherd's crook by the shepherd. So I just took a little bit of pita butter and I spread it on there, right on top, right on the side of him, the side of the shepherd, and then I just stand it up. And it may take a minute, I mean, for you to get a balanced, but there you go. So we've got two shepherds, we've got three wise men, which I'm going to put peanut butter on to make them stand. 
And then I have my little piece. I only did two for baby Jesus. And I'm going to wrap that around him. Because they said they would find the shepherd wrapped in swaddling clothes in a manger. So there's baby Jesus. And I'm going to tuck him between poor Mary who fell down. Can't see what I'm doing. And Joseph. All right, so I got Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus tucked in there. I'm putting peanut butter on the bottom of these guys. So that's what I'm using for my stick. And if you have frosting, or if you can get them to just stand up great by themselves, you're doing well. All right, there's another one. We, you know, don't really even know how many shepherds, or, or uh, excuse me, wise men there were. We always sing a song. We three kings of Orient are. All right, so I've got my shepherd, and I got some animals. I'm gonna stand them up there, and the thing that's not there yet is our angel. All right, my angel. I am going to use peanut butter and attach one of these to each near the back, each side of her back, to make wings. So I'll join you in a minute when I have that completed. All right, so for the past three weeks, you've learned about the shepherds who heard from the angel about the birth of baby Jesus. We learned about Joseph and Mary. And the three kings or the three wise men we'll be learning about later. So I put this behind just so you can kind of see a little better. So there's your finished product. Mary, Joseph, baby Jesus, the shepherds and some animals, that angel on top, and the wise men. Enjoy your nativity. Have a great time celebrating Jesus' birth, Christmas Day. Sing happy birthday to Jesus. Have a wonderful Christmas. Bye-bye.